Hello again. Chinese martial arts have somewhat of a reputation for not being very powerful, and this is a misconception. How does it arise? Well, Chinese martial arts often use very short shots. So instead of punching from here, just from here. Uh, instead of blocking from here, or here, just from here. Right? So to the inexperienced in particular power generation techniques, that looks like there's nothing there. I'll demonstrate in a moment that there is. But listen first to the difference between these movements. So I'm going to do five with one, and I'm going to repeat it with proper power generation, and you'll hear the difference. Hopefully you'll see the difference as well. So we're going to do a block. Now I'm going to do the block first of all, just using my arm. So from here down. Same block, but with proper power generation. Another principle of Chinese martial arts is that you strike from where your hand happens to be. So if your hand happens to be here, you strike from here. You don't do this first. If you're going to punch, if your hand happens to be here, you punch from here. You don't pull it back first. And we'll see that in action in a few minutes. In Chinese martial arts, power is generated from the core. Some people say it's from the waist, but it, you know, if you think of the waist as where your belt goes, it's not really the waist. It's this whole part of your trunk here. So you've got a huge band of muscle here called the transverse abdominis. You've got the diaphragm, another big muscle on the top of that, and you've got a, a mesh of muscles underneath called the pelvic floor. And when they fire all, to get all together, it generates a huge amount of energy. And that energy will go out in every direction. So some of it will go down. Okay, it goes down, but what we really want is to send it up and out. So force generation from here. Right? Not necessarily the waist because it doesn't always require a twisting movement, sometimes just an up and down movement. Can you see that? So the core generates the force. You need a firm base, right? Why do you need a firm base? Well, imagine a cannon firing and it's on wheels and those wheels are not locked down, right? The cannon is going to move. If you think of those old movies with cannons on ships, they fire the cannon and it always rolls back, right? Well, let's imagine that it was so firmly rooted into the ground, which modern artillery is, that fires and the cannon doesn't move. Let's apply this to yourself. Let's imagine you're wearing roller skates and you punch it, uh, the bag here. Well, you're going to go shooting back on the roller skates because your base is not firm. So you need a firm base. right? That means that everything is pointing in the right direction. Right? So your muscles of your legs are driving in in a kind of corkscrew action, driving in and down. So, your knees cannot afford to be pointing in the wrong direction. That brings instability to your stance. You cannot have so much as a, as a toe lifted off the ground. That introduces instability. So, from your waist down, you're kind of like the bottom part of a willow tree. Steady, firm trunk roots deep into the ground. So, how do we direct it to our hands? Well, we need a flexible back and arms to be able to do that. Because if your back is too stiff, your arm is too stiff, the force will, will be generated, but that wave of energy is not going to reach the, the point of the weapon, which could be there or there, or there, for example. So the force is generated and it has to ripple up through a supple back and arms to reach the target. So those are the three points. Force generation in the core, firm base to withstand your own force, also to withstand the equal and opposite reaction when you hit something and that force comes back at you. You don't want to be wobbling when you hit something. Core, stance, flex. Now because the back and the arms have to be relaxed 
to deliver that force. It looks like nothing's happening up here. Right? When people are used to seeing strength up here, and they see just whippy, relaxed movement, they can't see the force. Why? Because it's down here. And they're not looking down here. So they think there's no force. This sandbag here and here are what I use for testing not just the, the power of my shot but also the routing of my stance and my posture. Because if they're not right, when I hit that, it doesn't move, it won't move. Solid wall behind it. Solid breeze block wall on a foundation of solid granite. Behind that wall, earth and granite because this part of the garage is underground. So when I hit that, that's not going to move. So every time I hit that, I'm testing my posture and my own stance. Because, as I mentioned in my kicking video, every action is an equal and opposite reaction. So when I hit that, that hits me. So we're going to take a look now at how I apply those two types of strike to the back. This one. And this one. So this bag, at its core, has one of these PVC uh, pipes, and the pipe is filled with 45 kilos of sand, sealed at both ends, and it's wrapped in blankets, nice and snug. It took me a long time to slide this thing inside, it. nice and snug. And then the top, above that, I've packed with old clothes. The overall weight, 60 to 65 kilos. On the base, at each end, I've got a 20 kilo weight. And at the back, I've got a total of 66 kilos.